Hello everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel, Free and Frugal Friday. Let's get started. I'm gonna talk to you guys about a bunch of things today. Some things I got for your frugal. Also, some things I didn't stop myself from buying and things that I did stop myself from buying. So I'm gonna get right into it. Many of you were very generous to me this holiday season and I received lovely cards and some gifts too. I thank each and every one of you. I did mail every single person back that I had their address a card. If you didn't receive one and you gave me your address, please reach out to me because I would like to send you a really lovely card and a lovely comment and write a little short letter in there as well. So let me know if any of you did not receive a card back from me. So I want to say that I did receive a book of stamps from one of you. Thank you very, very much. I also got a Starbucks gift card, which you know what? I loved Starbucks, and so thank you. I got a wonderful Visa gift card and another Visa gift card. So I'm extremely appreciative. You know, I've received kind words from all of you all the time, kind cards. I love everything that you do as a gift to me. And one of you also gave me a inspiring quotes by inspiring women. And there's some really positive, lovely quotes in here. So I'm very grateful for that. And one of you sent me this self-help book that takes self-help to a whole new level. I just started it. It's called Existential. Let's see if I pronounce that right. Kink. Basically, I'll sum this what the book's about. Many people are all about positive thinking and wanting to be happy. Well, what this does is it faces some of the feelings that you constantly shove down and that you shame yourself for. You're facing those and, and basically unpacking it to figure out why you're feeling the way you are, which in essence will give you freedom. I haven't gotten that much into the book. I'm just summing that up kind of in a nutshell. So that's so far what I got for your frugal. Now, I wanted to tell you some things I stopped myself from buying. I received a ad in the mail today and it's this magazine that looks wonderful it's called good old days i read excellent reviews on it and but and i'll be honest with you i'd kind of like to have it because i've also subscribed before to another magazine similar to that it's 72 percent off the yearly fee and so normally it's like 35 dollars they marked it down to ten dollars and I get a free recipe book. It's old-fashioned grandma recipes. You know, if you notice when people put vintage or old-fashioned, it seems to sell a lot more for whatever reason. And there's some recipes here that I've never heard of, such as applesauce meatloaf. So old-fashioned applesauce meatloaf. And they said you cannot get these recipes anywhere else. So I went to YouTube, and guess what? There wasn't any applesauce meatloaf recipe on there and Wisconsin potato patties. You know, just, I actually didn't want this for the magazine. I wanted it for the old fashioned little mini cookbook. And so, and I'm still thinking, do I really want this? It's mostly stories. Now, I wouldn't be, wouldn't mind getting something like this, especially for only $10, if it was some useful things that I could use to share with the channel. Possibly some old fashioned ideas of how we can save money. But a lot of it looks like it's story. So I'm still not sure on this. This is the good thing. I haven't purchased it yet. I'm still waiting. So that's my big thing for 2022. No impulse buying. If I want something, sit back and wait. See how I feel a few days later. I also received some catalogs to order clothes. I didn't do that. And I've primarily been staying away from clearance shopping unless it's something that I really need. So those are things I stopped myself from buying. I know it's wonderful to save money, but I do think if there's something that we really feel we'll get value out of, and from my opinion, I think it's a good thing that we purchase some things. I did start a new tradition where I'm going to be buying myself a Christmas gift every year, and there's been something that I've been wanting to try for a long time, and I've never tried it before. I'll do a review on it if you want, but it's a company called Keto Chow. I got a discount code, and I ordered all different flavors of protein shakes. I love protein shakes. It's a nice quick meal, and they had gingerbread and snickerdoodles, so I thought, you know what? I bought myself one thing for Christmas, and so I ordered myself that. And so that's one thing I bought. Also, I know I told you guys that I subscribed to these magazines and that I was going to take a year off. Well, I started to take a year off for this one magazine that I've subscribed to for years called Women's World. And I absolutely love that magazine and I've been missing it. So I called and reordered my subscription. 
I did purchase, like I said, I did end up purchasing the protein shakes and the magazine that I really like. I don't feel bad about it because they're things that I really enjoy and I know I'll use them. And with the magazine, I can even maybe use some of the ideas from there to help the channel. So I wanted to just share with you guys some things I stopped myself from buying, some things I bought, and the jury's still out on this good old days. Part of me wants it, but I'm waiting on it to see how I feel a couple days from now so I can make an informed purchase decision. Let me know how you're saving money today. You guys know I love to hear from you. That's all I have to say for now. I love you. I appreciate you. And I'll see you on tomorrow morning's video. Bye-bye.